Oh hey, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be playing the Outer Worlds. Uh, this will be my first playthrough. I've, I've never played the game before, but I've seen a couple other people play it. Um, it looks like something really interesting, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just jump right into it. Uh, let's see, I prefer story way more than combat. That's always kind of my play style. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just do this on story. Uh, we definitely want conversation subtitles on. Uh, let's see. If disabled subtitles are not shown for word shown outside of the conversation. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't need those kinds of things on. Uh, show cinema. Yeah, we definitely want that. Okay. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, one's a minor term. Disgraceful. Okay, let's see. We have strength. Strength affects melee damage. Dexterity affects melee speed attack and ranged. Intelligence affects critical hit. Like that. Perception effects, headshot, and weak spot damage bonuses. Charm. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Max this one that. Had a, uh, one of those called again. Social life. Temperament improves your natural health generation. Okay, well, I'm thinking we'll give one to temperament, one. Because again, I'm not I'm not huge on fighting, but you know the story is more important. So we'll see how that works out for us. Skills. Melee. Improve critical hit damage. Weapon sway and critical hit damage. Defense. Dialogue. You must take a bigger doubt the law. Stealth. Ooh, we like stealth. Tech. Mm, leadership. Stealth. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. Let's see how stealth works out. Aptitude. Okay. Colonist. Sounded like a nice entry level career for a person with skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful. Okay. And we get plus one determination for that. Beverage service technician. The Halcyon c colony needs good people, but it will settle for ones that can mix uh, mix a memorable drink. We're gonna go with no on that one, but let's keep reading. Uh, as a human cocktail shaker, 
you've made concoctions that could end wars or fuel ship drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Uh, we get drink effect duration for that. Uh, let's see. The universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Uh, Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, oh, that sounds terrible. We're going to go with no. Ooh. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the ka chunk of a bit, a bit, I guess, is the money, a bit cartridge getting inserted right, up, right side up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promises of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now are more than empty words. They are a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. I do like that. And there is actually persuasion, so we're going to hold on to that one. Uh, construction, contrary to popular belief, cable management is an art form. Something about hiding electrical wires behind panels to max maximize the airflow just makes you sigh with relief. Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep the power flowing. That's your burden to shoulder. Okay, let's see. We're gonna. So there's a few of these, so let's just see. Shock, damage, engineering. Dodge, end ray damage, food effect, corrosion damage, inspiration. Let's see what that one is. There isn't a problem in all the co cosmos that steam, team spirit, and big stick can't solve. And a big stick couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you. And you've been ri a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Nah. Medical. Safety. Plasma. Science. Alright, yeah, let's go with the persuasion one. Appearance. Male. Ooh, maybe eight. Hmm. Mm, Twelve seems most normal. I actually messed around with this a little bit, so let's go. So we liked 12 for face, 10 for skin tone. hair nine and the color Lucky day, my friend. Is it lucky? 
looked like as if it was part of a plot. Not likely, bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. Back there? Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Oh, okay. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Alrighty. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, a Uber. Oh, yes. Smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all colonists are counting on you. Cool, cool, cool. No pressure. No pressure. I land or crash? It kind of looks more like it crashed. Alrighty. Ah, you Orcs. landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Wow. This is gorgeous. Sneak around. 
assuming there's something I have to sneak around, since it's telling me to sneak. So, let's see. Ah, yes. Okay. Monsters. Pretty, though. They look kind of like horses with, I don't know, bird feathers? the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Let's see. Medical said so still, I'll patch you up. What happened to you? A spacer's... What? It's the kid now. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. That's dumb. How are you feeling? What happened to you? A spacer's what? I don't know what a spacer's... Oh, we're all part of the spacer's choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? What are you doing here? You're hiding a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Uh, let's find out what they're doing Investigating here. Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? That's probably the ship I'm looking for. Hmm. Alright, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go get help. If someone grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down for you. That's me, so. The other dude's dead, actually, so. Uh, you're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. <laughs> Alright, let's be nice. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. I'm not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, now that that time. <laughs> I like him. Alright, can you tell me where I am? Do you know anything about the hope? I'm off. Where am I? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna. That sounds gross. You know anything about the, the hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Hmm. Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Tactical time 
extreme dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think, as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode, but standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. It's cute to use that. Okay. That was terrible. Alright. We'll do better next time. Your hacking and lockpicking skills help you get into places that you're not supposed to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are supposed to be used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Oh, I'm on fire. Weapons management. You can have up to four weapons required equipped at a time by dragging them to the slots on the top of the screen. On this page, you also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on this screen as well. Okay. I guess I see we're up there. Do anything, it's just two handed melee. Okay, let's see. Journal. Map. Cool. Alrighty, let's continue. thing in this KKK. Okay, okay, okay.
Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts. Not anymore. Landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Just a landing violation. Let it go. So I heard. I found one of your teammates pulled up in a cave. I already dealt with a few marauders. Not impressed. Ugh, we need to get the guy help. I really want to do this one, but we need to get the guy help, so. Really? How is he? Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little bit brighter. He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Ooh, we don't want to tell on him. I guess we'll just still. Of course still. I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Oh, are we scared? Do Spacer's Choice cards back down from a challenge? I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my company satisfaction survey. Don't worry, you sit tight. I'll handle it. Coward, I'll do it myself. You sit tight, I'll handle it. Pretend to give up, bitch. Should have said that. All right, you can come out now. I took care of it all. Alright, you guys stay here, I'll uh, just go explore, try to find the owner of the ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. We need to go there. Let's go explore. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. I'm not a marauder. Just because I killed your person. Please be advised that using the respecification machine will not make you a better person. I am a great person. Marauder. Please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Marauder, please be informed this ship does not possess a working power regulator for you to steal. Not a marauder, and I'm not trying to steal anything. Well, yeah, I guess I kind of am. But I'm not a marauder. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, marauder. Alright, this chick got an attitude.
Marauder, please be informed. The ship has no crew for you to murder. I'm not trying to murder anybody. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. What do I have to say to you? Hello, Ada. I am not a marauder. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I don't appreciate being talked to that way. Hmm. I mean, they did steal stuff, so I feel like that's a lie. What are you gonna do, self-show? Jester, procedure initiated. Please engage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all foreign parties. Uh. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Something's supposed to be happening. You guys were on the ground, right? If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Need to get the ship in the air. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Okay. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. Arthorn's dead. I'm sorry. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. That's f messed up. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Aww. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. <coughs> if I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I get it, you need me to be Captain well, Hawthorne who can't fly. Okay, but I'm not Captain Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead. Yes. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. No. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Oh. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. No, that didn't happen. That's not what happened. You understand. My name is Mateo. I understand. You are going undercover with an alias. I will oh. update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. So our sad. Our drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks. Captain, Horth C captain Hawthorne of the unreliable. I like it. Knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. Alright, I'll be Captain Hawthorne. Why not? I'll be Captain Mateo Hawthorne. Oh, it could work. Thank you. I appreciate your no. cooperation. Captain Alex Mateo Hawthorne. All right. Try to stay alive this time. All right. Level up. 
Congratulations, you have gained ex enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger and advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling, and you'll be upper management material in no time. Fantastic. Alright, let's take a look. Anti-Cleo management training. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to the specialized skill up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock skills occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps you, or hurts, I'm sorry, this helps, or hurts, skill checks, and the skills passive bonuses. But you won't give, or take away, the skill skills unlocked. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Okay. So we did dialogue last time and stealth. There are ten points available. Holy kershmoly! All right. Well, we definitely want dialogue and stealth again. Mm, let's see. I, mean, I don't have anyone in my companions yet. Like, am I gonna get companions eventually? Mm, we'll leave that for now, and we'll see. Do we do stealth again? Oh, no, I guess not. I guess I must be wearing something. Okay. Um, I guess let's do tech. Dialogue again. Ooh, and doing melee may help with, like, being able to kill them in one shot while I'm stealthy? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so. so I had ten. What did I do? Let's go back. Hold on. Alright, so I'll do two in melee, two in dialogue, two in stealth, two in tech. I guess let's do two in ranged. Why not? Okay, that's all done. How do we... Okay, apply. You'll be unable to do points allocated after confirmation. Yeah, let's do it. You've unlocked a dialogue skill combat. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically... Debilitated. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read, but... Boy. Okay. Aunt Cleo Specialization Management Seminar. Selecting Perks. Welcome to the welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perk you buy with your perk points. You get a new you get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw, acquiring five new point. Accepting a flaw, acquiring five new points makes the next tier of perks available to you. Andy wants you to be your best to help help her be the very best. So we have toughness. You're, you've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. So this is a 50% health bonus. Slow the world. My TTD meter goes up. Damage when alone in party goes up. Walk speed goes up. Sprint speed goes up. Weapons and armor goes up. I don't know, I guess it goes down. 
Oh, yeah, right. Companion, base armor, additional ammo, oh, carrying capacity. I always prefer carrying capacity because I am a hoarder. But let's see what else we've got. Uh, TTD recharge rate, fast travel when encumbered. Ooh, again, a hoarder. I like that. Okay. Deadly demonstrations. Your companions have a lot to teach you about killing. Being a shooting negotiation. Let's bring some. Hmm. It's going to be one of either Traveler for being able to fast travel or carrying capacity. I don't know what my carrying capacity is right now, so I'll probably go with fast traveling because that would be really annoying to have to walk super slow wherever I am. So let's do that. Yeah. All right. these real quick to get rid of them. <coughs> Wait, there's one. Call up. Ooh, weapon holstering. How do I do that? R. Okay. Successful attack while sneaking inflicts extra damage on your enemy. Okay. <clears throat> so it doesn't affect extra damage, but it doesn't necessarily kill them right away. Alright, well, we'll work on that. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a break here real quick uh, and be right back. Essentially for you, gonna take no time because it's just gonna cut. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna take a quick break. Also, but let's save the game real quick because that would be terrible. Okay, I'll be back. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I said I was gonna take a break, uh, and then I rewatched the video and realized that it was about 45 minutes long. Uh, so we're actually gonna cut it there, um, and then I will pick it up next video. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, let me know. Uh, otherwise, please like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I will see you on the next one.